Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Super Director Peter Atencio. Yeah. Peter Atencio. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Thank welcome. you very much. Welcome to the bar, the I.O. West. It's a great bar. I've hung out here many times. Mm -hmm. It's a good comedy community. Yes, it is. We're glad to have you. Thank you very much. Because you're kind of you're kind of dialed into the comedy community of Los Angeles, right? Somewhat. I try to stay on top of things, get plugged in. Yeah, yeah. Keep well, my succeeded. ear to the ground. You find succeeded people. that clearly. <laughs> You uh, you've worked with the uh, with the Midnight Show, right? At yep, uh, at yep, UCB. Yep. How'd that happen? Um, I, it's kind of just hanging around the theater, meeting people, and right. kind of falling in with this band of miscreants who are up to no good. And right. We uh, kind of had aligning tastes and decided, let's try to do some stuff. There you so go. Hey, we've all got glasses and beards. Yeah, exactly. You know? We're all raw, angry at our fathers, right? Awesome. But, no, that's not true. I love my father. Yeah, um, but yeah, too. a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's just kind of one of those things that worked out well right. for everybody. Now, I know you mostly through Tumblr. Yes, yes. My, uh, my, my blog. Mm -hmm. keeping, it, keeping it real on the internet. Keeping it real on the internet. <laughs> I know a lot of people just through Tumblr. Yeah. You kind of think like, well, that's, that's what Peter Atencio does. He blogs. Yeah, I just sit on a computer all day. Yeah. And find stupid photos. But that's not true at all. No, that's not true. You directed a movie called The Rig. I did. Tell us about The Rig. The Rig is a crazy, weird... Um, sci-fi thriller creature feature fun dumb movie it's yeah. uh, it's all those things Four years old directing yes. William Forsythe and many others. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did they take to it? He was great. He was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't have been nicer. He couldn't have been more friendly. Right. Um, it helped that the day he showed up on set, I was actually screaming at someone, which I'm not a screamer when I'm a director normally, but we were having some issues and uh, people, we were working on a, on a functioning oil rig, so there were sound issues. And I think that uh, he walked down onto our base camp, kind of below the rig and heard someone losing their mind and said, who's that? And they were like, oh, that's the director. And he was like, oh. Nice. Okay. So Stood at attention for the rest of the <laughs> shoot. Good, good first impression. But no, he was really nice, and it was a lot of fun working with him. So, yeah. But, yeah. but you're also working with a ton of people behind the scenes, mm -hmm. who I imagine are two and three times your age. Did you run into any trouble? Uh, no, I think it helps that I'm a big guy, because yeah. then it's not like little kid. I don't have that presence about me. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a, definitely a kind of a breaking in period of everyone getting to know each other, but I think there's a, there comes a time where they're like, ah, he knows what he's doing enough, we won't give him a hard time. Right. There's good natured ribbing, which I'm always a fan of, so. Excellent. A little bit of that, people calling me kid and things like that, so. You're a kid. Yeah, yeah I look 12, but I, I watched the behind the scenes actually when the DVD came out, because I hadn't seen what they'd cut together for that. Right. And I look 12 years old directing a movie, so it's a little scary. It's great though. Well, you're like yeah. A, you're like a prodigy. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't know about that. You're a prodigy. In terms of an internet service. You're a prodigy. Yeah. We, have, I'm a we deem you a prodigy. Thank so, you. What's your favorite terrible, terrible movie? I think my favorite horrible movie of all time is a movie called Robot Jocks. Have you ever seen no. Robot Jocks? Robot Jocks is a crazy... Joel behind the camera is nodding and smiling. Seen Robot Jocks? Yeah. Robot Jocks is amazing. What's it's it? all... It's, it's robots fighting and... Um, all of the robot scenes are done with stop motion animation and sure. it's kind of is set in a future world where international disputes are settled via r giant robots uh -huh. and that's when warfare. are we going to get there? I know. I'm ready. Yeah, I could pilot a robot probably. Um, but it's it's nuts and the action scenes are just fantastically cheesy. It's like the worst fighting scenes you've ever and it's stop motion robots, so it's oh, it's really bad. And so yeah. it's like a Rankin Bass robot war. Yeah, yeah. And I would that's due for a remake. If Absolutely. like that's the kind of movie that should be remade. Don't remake good stuff that everyone loves. Remake something horrible that no one's seen that has an interesting concept behind yeah. it. Yeah. Robot jocks. Uh, have you seen uh, this is not a horror movie but it is terrible. Can't stop the music. No. Holy God. Okay. <laughs> Peter Atencio and everybody at home, if you have not watched Can't Stop the Music, it's on Netflix Instant. Okay. It is, uh, it is a 1979 musical. Uh, it was released in 1980 um, about the formation of the village people and starring the village people. Oh. But also Valerie Perrine and Steve Gutenberg and Bruce Jenner. No way. And June Havoc and like the craziest cast in the world. And it's, uh, and Steve Gutenberg like literally <laughs> doesn't stop doing this for two hours. It's actually a little over two hours long. Right. Everybody is visibly coked up from start to finish. 
um, and and it's and it's about you know like disco is going to be the music of the '80s. Right. You won't believe all the great things that are going to happen in the '80s, and like you know knowing yeah. what happens in the '80s. <laughs> Especially, you know, to the disco community, not so great. I think any movie that is made as a response to a trend right. is always a, a beautiful train wreck. Yeah. It's always comes out like six months too late. Right. And then it's just a crazy piece of pop culture ephemera from then on. Yeah, a movie doesn't just happen. You right. don't just think it and then yeah. there it is. Yeah. Like you gotta there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah disco, way too long. Yeah. 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 It's disco was long gone by the time Can't Stop the Music came out. So it was just an epic disaster, but it, it's it is it's great. Nice. There are musical numbers that will blow your mind. It's uh, and it's like it's pre, it's just pre-AIDS, so right. it's like it's really like oh, right. it's not homoerotic. It's like homosexual. Right. Like, there's dick everywhere. It's great. You can't stop the music. That's right. Thank you for coming by, Peter yeah, Tensio. Thank you. Peter Tensio, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> coming up tomorrow, we got comedian Eric Toms. You know Eric, oh, yeah, right? Very funny. Thank you.